Have you ever used the word bit? That's uh, ubiquitous in our modern culture, binary digit. That's a gift of Claude Shannon to us. I think you need to understand Shannon as a maker and that he never separated a real problem from all of the theory and uh, practice that he had learned in the disciplines of engineering and in, in mathematics. He had a handful of obsessions, I think it's fair to say, in terms of his recreational pursuits. Juggling was one of them, chess was another, riding unicycles were a third. He's not alone in that. People who are interested in math or cryptography or information theory show a surprising a uh, degree of interest in those particular pursuits. So this device, I think, you know, contains all of the elements. Plywood, cobbled together, cut up, there's, you know, loose parts. Oh, here's a strap from an instrument case. These clown figures are from a cake decorating supply house. This one's kind of a world record setting for ring toss juggling. So there's a little homage to great feats in, in juggling that he taught all of his children to juggle. Betty could juggle. This was sort of, a, I don't know, a family hobby. So we're sharing with you a working machine uh, called the WC Fields Bounce Juggler. So when you look underneath, you can see uh, you know, this is a giant erector set. <laughs> if you did this right, you could have balls, you could actually get the three balls going simultaneously as they bounce. So people often think of juggling up in the air, but it works, you can bounce too. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be in the air. It's a little easier to bounce juggle. We were told when we collected it that the, the piece was inspired by Claude and Betty Shannon finding the head um, for sale in, in a hotel in New Orleans. On the left is a uh, calculator, actually, and it's called Throwback. Thrifty, so the TH, Roman, R-O, numeral backward, B-A-C, looking computer. So, But here's where you see sort of the quirky sense of humor. So you take that idea of the Frieden calculator and its layout, but instead of calculating Arabic uh, digits, he says, well, what can, can we make a calculator with Roman numerals? So if uh, you said, what is V plus V? Well, that, the answer is X. So the, the penny match game, this is a complicated one. If you flip a coin, are you, do you guess that it's coming down heads or tails? And is the, can the machine do better than you? And it's not doing any better at guessing whether it's heads or tails, but it's figuring out what you're guessing what the patterns are in the person who's doing it. And you can see here are the counters, you know, so player versus machine, chance, probability, circuitry, all of these are things, juggling patterns, patterns in nature, all of these are things that captivated, fascinated Shannon, and uh, they were part of his everyday work. I love being a historian of technology because I get to tell stories about people like Claude Shannon, who may very well be one of the most important people in the modern world that you've never heard of, but he's by far not the only one.